boleh madam okay good ada lagi yang join ni sekejap eh saya kena klik klik dulu alright <coughs> so now have you watched the video for subtopic 1.3 by Dr. Najiha you have three uh, three parts of the video alright so basically did you understand about what are the cylindrical encoded surfaces Guys, you can unmute your audio so that we can have two-way communications. All right. So please respond. If you don't understand, then you need to respond during class. Okay. So we will go one by one. I will just uh, do some revisions for this subtopic. Um, so we start with level curves. Okay. So basically guys, level curves is actually uh, like a contour map. Mm -hmm. If you still remember, during your secondary school, you took a geography subject. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, in semester, in semester, in form two, okay, geography subject. Do you still remember? Subject geography, lukisan contour plot, contour map. Yeah. Oh, you haven't yeah. learned this before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, banjaran titi wangsa, you know, you nak lukis gunung, mountain, whatsoever, you do, you have to learn the contour map. It's something like, like this, contour map. Like this, like this, and like this. Still remember? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. So basically, level curve is the same like the contour plot, lah. the contour map. Contour map. So today, um, let us discuss one example. I'll give you one simple example. Did you have a notebook and pen or pencil with you? Please jot down everything for the online class. Make sure you write down everything. Eh? Yes, ma'am. So example one, let me give you one question. Simple, very simple question. Construct a contour map for the given function. Let's say fxy equals to 25 minus x squared minus y squared using level curves of height let's say k equals to 0, k equals to 4, k equals to 16 and 25 okay now <clears throat> solution Okay, first of all, what you should do in level curves is you have to uh, make or assume that z equals to fxy and then equals to k, right? So we will have this. We will have 25 minus x squared minus y squared equals to k, like this. Okay, so if we rearrange the, e, the variables, we will have x squared plus y squared equals to 25 minus k. All right. Now we're going to substitute one by one the given values of k. Okay, these are the values of k. k equals to 0, 4, 16, and 25. So let's say we start with k equals to 0. Then we have x squared plus y squared equals to 25 minus 0. We will get 25. So next, we substitute k equals to 4. And then we will have x squared plus y squared equals to 25 minus 4 so we will have x squared plus y squared equals to 25 minus 4 is 21 mm, like this 
and then proceed. K, sorry. K equals to what? Uh, 16. So we will have x squared plus y squared equals to 25 minus 16. Then we will have x squared plus y squared equals to 9. And then substitute k equals to 25. So we will have x squared plus y squared equals to 25 minus 25 should be 0. So x squared plus y squared equals to 0. Okay, if you notice here, from all of this equation, x squared plus y squared equals to 25, this is a circle, right? A circle with radius. What? What's the radius? Five. Five, yes. R equals to five. Okay. And then, this also a circle. Okay. A circle, but now the radius R equals to square root 21. Okay, the same thing happened here. This is also a circle, but the radius now is 3. Okay, so now, okay, let us sketch the level curves. I'm going to sketch this in 3D so that you can relate this with a paraboloid later. So let us do this. Because level curves is related to 3D surfaces, right? So I'm going to uh, explain to you about uh, why do we learn level curves before we learn uh, paraboloid. So as usual, this is your X, Y, and Z. Okay, now guys, uh, before I proceed to 3D, okay, let me write down here. 2D first. So 2D, this is X and Y. Okay. So for the first K, K equals to zero. First K, okay. K equals to zero. We will have X squared plus Y squared equals to 25. So we will have a very big circle with radius five. Let's say here, this is the circle with radius Five, so put five right there. Okay, and then the second circle we have x squared plus y squared equals to twenty one. So to square root of twenty one, if you use your calculator, it should be greater or smaller than five. Mm -hmm. Square root twenty one. What should you get? You all the calculator and you all. Four point five. Smaller, 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 which is four point five eight three four point five eight three. Okay, four point five eight. All right, so should be smaller, yes. Okay, should be smaller. So the second circle is smaller. Okay, square root twenty one. Okay, it's okay, you can mute now. <laughs> Alright, so next, when k equals to 16, we have a smaller circle. Alright, a smaller circle here, which is equals to 3. Alright, and then the last one. The last one, when k equals to 25. Okay, when k equals to 25, we don't have any radius. So this becomes a point of zero, zero. Okay, this is just a point of zero, zero. So no circle, just a point of zero, zero. So if we denote here in the 2D graph, so we just have this point of zero, zero. Okay. So now guys, uh, let me turn on... Um, I, will, I want you to understand this. Okay, I would like to turn on the 
the video. Wait a minute. Okay, I will stop sharing here. I want to you to um, I will share my screen for you. Okay, guys, just now. In 2D, okay, I have a CD here. I want you to imagine. Okay, in 2D just now, uh, your circle is like this. Okay, this is your circle in 2D. But now, I'm going to transform this graph, the 2D graph. Okay, tadi bulatan kan? Bulat besar, bulat kecil, bulat kecil, bulat kecil kan? Okay, it's like this. Ni pandangan depan you. Okay, now saya nak transform this 2D into 3D graph. Okay, what should I do now is I have to change the CD into this form. Okay, I have to change from here to here. Okay, so get my point. Saya nak faham ni, saya change from here to here. This is in 3D. So what happened, okay, I'm going to share the screen again. So what should I do now is I want to change this to D. Okay, this is in 2D, two dimension, two dimension, X and Y only. So I want to change the graph in 2D here, into 3D here. So what happened? We start with K equals to zero first. Okay, K equals to zero. K is equals to zero. Okay, K means height. Okay, H-E-I-G-H-T, height. So, in 3D, means when K equals to 0, it will be on the base. Okay, on the base, which means that X-Y plane. Alright, X-Y plane. So, on X-Y plane, we have the largest circle, which is with R equals to 5. Okay, the largest circle when k equals to zero means at the base or at the floor pada lantai k equals to zero tak ada ketinggian kita ada satu circle dengan jejari lima. So instead of bentuk CD tadi saya buat macam ni saya akan terbalikkan dia macam ni so it becomes like this. So it will be like this. Okay. This is the circle with radius 5, 5. Here, negative 5. At the back is negative 5. Understand? Pandangan depan dan pandangan sisi. Jadi macam ni kan? Sekarang dia macam ni. Understand? Alright. Okay, so next, this is when k equals to 0. This is when k equals to 0. Okay, so now when k equals to 4, k equals to 4 is getting higher. Okay, this is making tinggi because k is height. So when k equals to 4, let's say I did not hear k equals to 4. Okay, we have a smaller circle with radius square root of 21. Okay, we will have a smaller circle. Alright, and then when we keep increase the k, let's say here 16. Okay, ni, k equals to 16 ni. The circle becomes smaller with radius 3. Macam tu. Okay, makin kecil, makin kecil, makin kecil. And the last one, when k equals to 25. Okay, we just get a point of 0, 0. Alright, so yes, there are no radius, tak ada radius, okay? So we just a point here, x0, y0, alright? So now, what happened in 3D guys, what happened? Okay, ini tak complete lagi eh. Okay, kita tengok balik. So persamaan asal kita tadi, f x, y equals to 25 minus x squared minus y squared, isn't it? Okay, so now uh, let's say z let 
fxy equals to z. So we have z equals to 25 minus x squared minus y squared. Okay, so now how do we complete the graph? Okay, we're going to uh, find the graph for x, uh, xz plane and then tadi x, y plane tau. Okay, this one. In 2D, this is x, y plane. So, eh, yang ini, ini adalah 2D x, y plane. Alright. And now, we will have exact plane. Let's say exact plane. So when exact plane, okay guys, exact plane means, okay, challenge eh, apa saya buat ni? Exact plane means y equals to zero. Okay, so when y equals to zero, we will have z equals to 25 minus x squared. So the graph in 2D, okay, the graph in 2D like this, This is x. Uh, you have to bear in mind that uh, the vertical axis must always be z. Okay? The vertical axis must always be z. So, if you sketch z equals to 25 minus x squared, it will be like this. Right? A parabola. So, here is 25. Right here is negative 5. Right here is 5. Okay. So that's it. Okay, now uh, let us find the, uh, the curve on, okay, that is exact plane. Now, why is that plane? Why is that plane means apa yang zero? What is zero now for why is that plane? Uh. <laughs> X, okay, so yes, X equals to zero. Okay, good. So now, z equals to 25 minus y squared. All right. So let us sketch the curve of this equation. Okay, guys. Saya pesan apa tadi? Yang menegak mestilah sentiasa paksi. Ni. Z. 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 Very good. So z as is right. And the horizontal line here should be y. Okay, the horizontal line here should be y. So now, z equals to 25 minus y squared. So again, it's something looks like this. Alright, here's 25 and right here is negative 5, right here is 5. Okay, now, we're gonna transform these two curves into this 3D. Okay? into this 3D. Dekat point atas ni tadi K sama dengan 25 lah, 25. Okay guys, now let us transform this curve X dengan Z ni pada 3D, this curve. Okay, X equals to 5 and negative 5, right? So in 3D, X equals to 5, ni paksi X depan 5, belakang negative 5. Okay, so we will have this curve. At the back, and then you could depan macam ni. Alright? Parabola tu macam tu. Understand? That is for exact plane. Depan dan belakang. Nampak tak saya buat putus-putus kat belakang sebab dia belah belakang. Okay, negative 5. Dekat belakang ni negative 5 and 5 kat depan. X dengan Z. Okay, next. Ni, ni. Ni. Ni, X ni. Belakang, depan. Macam tu. Okay. Next. Uh, y, Z plane. So Y exists. We have Y equals to 5. Sebelah kiri dan sebelah kanan lah. Sebab Y dia ke sisi kan. Okay. So we're going to transform this curve to 3D. Here. So Y. Tengok pak si Y kiri dan kanan. Y is 5 and negative 5. So we will have the curve like this. So we complete already the paraboloid. Okay, this is called as paraboloid. 
that's uh, that's why you learn level curves dulu sub so, topic 1.3.1 tu adalah supaya uh, so that the student understand the concept of level of height ketinggian tu adalah sebenarnya merujuk kepada uh, exact axis level curves okay so this is the curve for z equals to 5 minus y squared kalau saya boleh denotkan kat sini, ni z equals to 25 minus y squared and then the, the green colour z equals to 25 minus x squared like this. If you understand? Yes. 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 Okay, good. Well done. Alright guys. Don't worry, in your test or your quiz, no need for you to do this step by step like this. Okay, I'm just explaining step by step so that you can understand the concept in, uh, behind the graph sketching. But uh, in reality, when you encounter this type of question, you can just simply uh, sketch the shape of 3D. Okay, ini adalah step by step dia. Sepatutnya kalau dalam quiz ataupun test, you just straight away sketch the paraboloid lah. Ha, kalau soalan susah tanya, so, tanya pasal paraboloid. Okay, so we have done all about the level curves. Let us proceed. Okay, we start with, uh, go. we go one by one. Okay, parabolic cylinder. Alright, parabolic cylinder. Number one, parabolic cylinder. Okay, example sketch. Let's say uh, we have y equals to five x squared. Okay, guys. Sketch five y equals to five x squared in three D. Okay, when the question asks you to sketch the surface, surface means three D. Eh, kalau dia kata graph, ah, kalau graph barulah two uh, D macam tu. Tapi kalau dia kata surface, automatically three D. Okay, so now y equals to five x squared in three D. Hmm. Let us sketch the graph in 2D first to get the idea. Okay, ni step kan saya bagi tips. Hint. First, in your test or quiz, if you don't you don't, you don't, don't know what type of graph is this. Okay, in order to get the idea, so try to sketch the graph in 2D first to get the idea. Okay, in 2D, we will have, of course, X and Y exist. So Y as the subject and we have positive. Remember the coefficient, saya pesan apa last week? Five ni just you all punya expansion of the curve. Sama ada you punya parabola menguncup ataupun mengembang, right? Remember last week, coefficient tu bermaksud kalau makin besar nilai coefficient tu maksudnya you punya uh, parabola makin menguncup ke atas. Just like that. Yes. Okay. Yes. So now... Uh, it's still, uh, the vertex is still at zero, zero. So we have something like this. So next, let us transform to the, uh, the graph in 3D. Okay, you already get the idea. Okay, this is the parabola, huh, like that. So, dalam test nanti, uh, you pun lukislah part C 3D. Yang 2D tu just untuk dapatkan idea, eh, tu bentuk apa sebenarnya, just to get the idea. Okay, so next, X, Y, and Z. Okay, now guys, next, what you should do is, you kena transform this curve pada 3D. Kalau you tengok, dia senyum tu, dia menghadap part CY kan? Dia menghadap, menghala ke arah part CY. Okay, so now let us transform this curve to 3D. Dia menghadap, it's facing Y axis, positive Y, it's facing Y axis like this. Okay, it's facing, menghadap ke arah Y. So, do like this. So next, from here, as what I mentioned last week, in this equation, there is no Z. Okay, when there is no Z, means the graph should be parallel along Z. Okay, parallel along Z. So what you should do here, we just 
expand this, you tarik je ke atas ataupun ke bawah. Macam tu. Okay, done already. That's it. Understand? Since there are no z, z, no variable z, so the parabolic cylinder must be parallel along z. Understand, guys? Yes. Okay. So let us proceed. Sketch number two. Sketch the following following surfaces. Okay, let's say A, we have Z equals to a negative 4Y squared. B, let's say we have a Z equals to 1 plus 3X squared. And then C, let's say we have... Um, Let's say we have y equals to um, berapa? Give me a number. You all nak berapa ni? Okay, let's say saya buat macam ni. 9 uh, minus um, terhadap apa saya nak buat ni? Let's say terhadap Okay, Z squared like this. Okay, so let us solve this type of question. Solution. Okay, A. The equation A. Right, let us do this. In 2D. Bila ada variable Z dengan Y. Z equals to negative 4Y squared in 2D. You all sketch. Okay, always bear in mind the vertical line, the vertical axis should be Z. Okay, and the horizontal line should be Y, like this. Okay, so Z, Z as the subject. So, of course, it's either facing uh, positive Z or negative Z. Right now, we have negative. Okay, upward or downward? Guys, downward. upward or downward? Downward. It should be downward, yes. Like downward. This. downward. So downward macam ni. Eh, eh, eh. Dia akan jadi downward macam ni. Eh. Okay, so now, jom kita transform dalam 3D. So in 3D, we will have Guys, you all salin ni tau. Buat juga, lukis juga ni. Saya nak, you expert sampai satu tahap. You nampak je equation dah tahu dah bentuk apa. Okay, now. It's facing downward. So, downward of Z. So, downward, downward. So, it should be like this. Okay, guys. The tip is, okay, satu panjang, satu pendek tau. Macam tu. Okay, bila you lukis parabo uh, parabolic cylinder, make sure one shorter than another leg. Okay, satu panjang, satu pendek macam ni you lukis. Eh, bila you transform tu. Okay, now, in this equation, there is no variable what? No variable? X. X. Okay, good, well done. X. So, no X. So, it's up to you. You can uh, expand to the back or forward. Okay, sama ada ke depan ataupun belakang. Terpulanglah. Kalau you nak sambung ke depan, you tarik ke depan lah. Ha, macam ni. Ni ke depan kan? Ha, tarik ke depan like this. Satu, satu pendek, satu panjang. Okay, dah settle. Something like this. Okay? Understand? Okay, equation B. Z equals to 1 plus 3x squared. Can you follow me, guys? Yes, doctor. Yes, doctor. Okay, now, in 2D. Just to get the idea, in 2D. How the graph looks like? Okay, Z always vertical, so X here. 
So we have positive, right? Positive, positive maksud dia senyum. But we have one here. Okay? So one means shifting. Naik ke atas kan dia senyum. Suppose dia senyum kat sini. Macam tu. Tapi dia plus one kan? So we will have this line. Right? This is one. Understand guys? This is the graph in 2D. Okay, now. Jom kita buat in 3D. Ha, ni soalan ni, so soalan ni nak 3D. So kita buat graph to 3D. Dia transform. In 3D. So we have this. Guys, make sure you use your uh, ruler eh. Use a ruler. Pembaris. Saya tak boleh pakai pembaris, saya pakai iPad. Make sure you make it uh, smooth lah garisan tu boleh cantik sikit. Alright, now nak transform ni. Ha, nak pindahkan daripada 2D ke 3D garisan ni. Ni garisan ni. Of course lah. Bila you pindahkan, dia berada pada satu kan. One here. Okay, and then it's facing the axis. So facing the axis. Ingat, Madam Rahimah kata pendek satu, panjang satu. Ah, Pendek satu, panjang satu like that. Okay, so now, in this equation, there are no variable? Why? No why, yes. Why, why? So why bermaksud, you can make it longer to the right or left. It's up to you. Okay, you nak tarik dua-dua side boleh, you nak tarik satu side je pun boleh. Okay, both are correct. So it doesn't matter. Let's say I just uh, take this to the right hand side. Okay, so we will have this. Panjang satu, pendek satu. So here. Alright, that's it. Understand? You all ni diam je. Kalau masuk minang, diam tanda setuju. Tapi kalau belajar, diam tanda tak faham. Faham tak eh? Yes, Madam. Faham, Madam. Macam saya cakap seorang-seorang je ni. Pasal dua. Okay, now. Uh, ni menarik. Okay, jom kita buat ni soalan ni. Y equals to 9 minus Z squared in 2D. Paksi Y kat mana? Horizontal or vertical? Paksi Y. Y is this? Vertical. Vertical. Horizontal, yes. Bila ada zigzag, guys. Saya bagi tips. Ada je zigzag sentiasa menang. Dia sentiasa duduk atas. Dia sentiasa powerful. Dia memang menegak. Dia vertical. So, zigzag kat atas and then Y kat bawah ni. So, horizontal lah Y. Okay. Now, kita punya subjek adalah Y. So, sama ada dia menghadap belah kanan ataupun belah kiri. Sekarang ni dia negatif. So, dia menghadap belah mana? Kanan ke kiri? Kanan uh, kiri. 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 Ha? kiri. Kiri. Kanan ke kiri? Kiri. 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 Okey, kiri. Lepas tu dia ada plus plus 9 kan? Ya. Yeah. Dia ada plus 9 ni. Plus okay, 9. So, so, we will have nine. a curve like this. Okay, my. Why? Here is 9, yes. So 3, negative 3. Understand? Okay, now ah, ni mencabar sikit 3D dia. You boleh imagine tak sebelum saya lukis ni bentuk dia macam mana? Cuba you try buat. You boleh imagine tak? Dia tak ada warna apa tu? Tak ada warna X. 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 Ah, dia tak ada X. Ha, so macam mana tu? X, Y, Z. Let's do Okay. Guys, actually it can be longer kan benda ni? It can be longer, it can be longer like this kan? Macam tu kan? Betul tak? Am I right? Okay, you know already here. Okay, dia kena, dia perlukan kemahiran sikit ni. Trick sikit. There is no X. Okay. So, you know that this 
curve should be parallel along X. Okay, so we also have uh, it is supposed to be dimension E in. Contoh, satu pendek satu panjang, tapi dia menghadap ke arah ni. Okay, saya ulang balik eh, so step by step. Okay, dia panjang, panjang satu pendek satu macam gini kan. Okay, this is 9, right? This is 3 and this is negative 3. Understand guys? Yeah. Okay, so now you tarik lah. You nak tarik ke belakang boleh, you nak tarik ke depan pun boleh. So it's something looks like this. Let's say kalau you tarik ke belakang, it can be like this lah. Macam tu. Understand? Yes, yes. Okay, good. Okay, now, so settle already. Uh, parabolic cylinder, shape number two. Okay, silinder. Oh, silinder ni paling senang, paling simple. Okay, silinder number two. Silinder. For example, sketch the following surfaces. Okay, let's say A, we have uh, 4x squared plus 4y squared equals to 16. B, we have uh, 2x squared plus um, z squared equals to, let's say we have 8. And then C, we have um, y squared plus 3z squared equals to 27. Okay. Guys, saya bagi tips. Bila you tengok equation tu, dia membentuk into D, if into D, into D is either circle or ellipse. Therefore, in 3D, it will be a cylinder. Okay. Kalau dalam 2D, kalau you tengok equation tu, macam dia bentuk circle ataupun ellipse, dalam 3D dah kena di cylinder. Alright, now let us solve this question one by one. Question A, 4x squared plus 4y squared equals to 16. Okay, we can divide everything by 4, right? Yeah. So we have x squared plus y squared equals to 4. If you divide everything by 4 ni, 16 bagi 4, 4. So, logically, you know that in 2D, this is a circle. Okay? In 2D, a circle with radius, radius equals to what? 2. 2, yes, like this. So, we know that this is a circle with radius 2, x, y. Buatlah bulat 2 macam ni. So, dia jadi dia dua, tu. Okay. So, since there is no variable what here? No z. So, the graph should be in 3D. The graph should be parallel along z. Okay. X, y and z. So first, you buat dulu tapak dekat tapak dia ni. Dia adalah macam gini. Okay, and it must be parallel along Z. Since there is no Z. So parallel along Z is this. Okay, so we will have this. Tarik ke atas, tarik ke bawah boleh. It's up to you. And of course, the radius here is 2 and here is 2. And here is negative 2. Like that. At the back, belakang ni negative 2. Okay? Alright, so question B. Okay. 
Okay. Question B. Okay, this is a what? A circle or ellipse? Ellipse. 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 Okay, well done. So we will have ellipse. If you divide everything by 8, we will have x squared over 4 plus z squared over 8 equals to 1. So this is an ellipse. What is the major axis? Z. 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 Yes. Z. Okay, so jom kita terus. Soalan ni senang. So, kalau silinder dia mudah guys. Straight away sketch the graph in 3D pun boleh. Tapi kalau tak dapat, kalau misalnya kata dalam press you confuse, you try to plot the graph in 2D lah. Eh? Tapi kalau once you dah expert, you straight away sketch the graph in 3D. Okay. X, Y and Z. So, longer, should be longer on Z. Jom kita buat tengah-tengah ni dulu. Longer on Z. So, here should be Z is square root, sorry. Z ni jadi square root 8. Okay. And then dekat X ni jadi berapa? Ah, X jadi berapa? Pasti X. 2. Two. Okay, well done. 2. 2. So now, since there is no variable y. Parallel along y. Yes, parallel along y. Well done. Very good. So tariklah ke arah y. Macam tu. Nak tarik belah kiri pun boleh. Doesn't matter. Okay. Either one. Belah kiri boleh, belah kanan boleh. Dua-dua besar pun boleh. Doesn't matter. Okay, question C. Ah, sekali pandang je tahu dia ni. Question C ni. Silinder. Hmm, silinder terhadap apa sih? X. X. Okay, good. Dia macam ni. Bila once you dah expert, you nampak je you dah tahu dah dia graf apa. Dia adalah ellipse. Okay. So, tapi dia bila dia... Okay, nama lain dia guys, specifically lah selain daripada silinder. Kalau yang ni tadi, yang ni adalah circular silinder. Circular silinder yang first tadi. Sebab dia circle. Sebab dia circle. Okay. Yang kedua ni, dia adalah elliptical cylinder. Elliptical cylinder. Sebab dia ellipse dalam 2D. Because it is an ellipse. So, nama dia elliptical cylinder. Okay. In this case, this is, all, this is also an ellipse, right? Sebab tak sama kan? Ni, ni. Ni tiga, ni satu. Ha. So, kalau you uh, modify equations ni, dia jadi y squared over 27 plus z squared over 9 equals to 1. Like this. So, the major axis should be Y. Mm. Mm. Okay. So doesn't matter. Let us proceed with the graph. Dia tak ada variable variable X. So dia parallel sepanjang X lah. Okay. So it's something like this. Y and Z. Di parallel sepanjang pasi. Macam tu. You kalau nak tarik ke belakang, you tarik ke belakang like this. Tak kisahlah. Sikit sangat saya buat ni. Sekejap. Hmm. Tak kisahlah eh. Depan belakang semua boleh. Sekejap ni boleh buat A undo. Ni boleh buat dotted lah lah. Hmm, like that. The value here is 3. And then the value of y should be uh, square root 27. Hmm. Okay, so that's for cylinder. Shapes number 2, paraboloid. Hmm, paraboloid. Okay. 
Shapes number 3, paraboloid. Guys, kalau you lapar, you makan, eh, saya tak kisah. Nak minum air milo ke, buahkan biskut ke, makan roti ke. Ha, yang penting you fokus je. Sambil makan tak apa. I don't, I don't mind. Don't worry. Okay, paraboloid. Hmm, example. Sketch. The following surfaces. Let's see. A. Hmm. Let's see. We have uh, z squared equals to one plus two x squared plus two y squared, and then b is z squared. Sorry, z size. And then b we will have. Hmm, let's say y equals to four minus x squared minus z squared, and then c let's say we have. x equals to negative 3y squared plus 3z squared. Okay, solution. Okay, before that. Okay, my first question. If you look at the equation, what's the difference between this equation and cylinder value? What's the difference between this equation and equation of cylinders? All variable given. Yes, all variables given. Yes. Okay. Okay, beza dia dengan cylinder and parabolic cylinder adalah dalam equation uh, paraboloid ni, all variables are given. Okay, we have all variables. Z ada, X ada, Y ada. Okay. Now, let us solve one by one. Question number A. Z equals to 1 plus 2x squared plus 2y squared. Okay guys, let's say lah you blur dalam test, you tak ingat bentuk apa, tak ingat langsung. Ha, you buat graph in 2D. In 2D, so bila in 2D maksudnya hanya dua paksi yang terlibat. Okay, so dia mestilah couple guys, pasangan dia, dia mestilah couple sama ada Z dengan X ataupun Z dengan Y. Okay, dia sama, dia sama ada macam tu. Okay, so in 2D, you just pick one example. Okay, let's say on exact plane. Okay, you boleh ambil uh, either one, tak kisah. Tak payah, tak perlu buat dua-dua pun. Buat ambil salah satu je. Sama ada on exact plane or on YZ plane. Dengan syarat, guys, dengan syarat kena ada dia punya ni, subjek ni. Subjek ni Z ni kena ada dua-dua. Sini Z, sini Z. Okay. So dalam test nanti, you tak perlu buat dua-dua step ni pun. Salah satu pun dah cukup. Just untuk get the idea bentuk apa sebenarnya dalam 2D. So bila kita nak transform 3D tu, kita dah boleh nampak lah. Oh dia macam ni. Okay. So in 2D, bila you sketch graph in 2D ni, on exact plane bermaksud y sama dengan kosong. So equation kita akan jadi Z equals to 1 plus 2x squared. Okay. So 1 plus 2x squared, bila you lukis x dengan z, okay, dia positif. So dia positif 2 ni. Bila positif 2 bermaksud dia senyum. And then dia ada plus 1 kan? So yeah. plus 1 means you uh, uh, shift above one step. So naik atas satu step. Like this. Here is 1. Contoh. Okay, so automatically in 3D, ah, you tak payah buat pun dalam yang yang YZ plane ni, tak perlu pun. Sebab you dah nampak dah, oh dia bentuk parabola. So bila parabola, 3D jadi paraboloid. Ah, macam tu. Okay, so true straight away, sketch the graph in 3D. You tak perlu pun lukis uh, lagi satu tu. Tapi kalau you rajin, you buatlah satu YZ plane tu. Macam ni kan. 
Okay, so x, y, z. Now, so automatically transform like this. Here is one. So just complete it. That's it, full mark. Dah, itu je. Okay. Kalau you tak confident dengan satu graph, you nak try lagi dekat on yz plane pun sama, boleh. Okay, kalau yz plane apa yang kosong? x equals to zero. So when x equals to zero, your equation will be like this. z equals to one plus two y squared. So bila one plus two y squared, sama je bentuk dia guys. Always bear in mind, z must be always vertical and then pasti y dekat sini. So dia senyum juga like this. So kan sama tu. Oops, sorry. Ha, so kan sama ni kan? Ha, so bentuk dia jadi sini lah paraboloid. Okay, ingat eh? So dalam test ataupun quiz, kalau you rasa tak confident tu bentuk apa, cuba plot 2D dulu. 2D. Baru you transform 3D. Okay? So next, question number... Question B. Ah, agak-agak bentuk channel lah ni. Into D. Okay, so kalau into D kita kena buat apa dulu guys? Plane apa ni kita nak buat, nak cari ni? On plane apa? Kalau into D. That's why. Yes, okay. Into D either, yes, yes, yes. Either X, Y plane. Or Z, Y. Yes, Y, Z plane. Yes, Y, Z plane. Ha, yang penting Y tu kena ada. Subjek ni kena ada. Y ni kena ada. Setiap ada. Y kat sini, Y kat sini. Ha, macam tu. Okay, I do one lah. So, kita just buat salah satu pun boleh. Okay. So, now let us do on X, Y plane. So, bila X, Y plane, apa yang zero? Z. Z equals to zero. So our equation will be y equals to 4 minus x squared. Okay. So 4 minus x squared will be like this. X dengan y, y lah menang. Y duduk vertical. So 4 minus y, x squared dia masam. Masam dia shifting 4. Ha, dia macam ni. So 4 like this. Here is negative 2. Right here is positive 2. Okay. So now ha, dah siap. You tak payah buat pula satu ni pun. Tak perlu pun tak apa. No need. No need. Okay. Cepat sikit. Ha, jom kita terus buat 3D. Berdasarkan graf tu. Satu panjang tu pendek. Ha. Satu panjang tu pendek ke? Tak payah yeah. lah. Satu pun satu pendek tu kalau parabolik silinder kalau dia tak ada variable tu kan yang ni semua dia ada variable kan? Oh, okay. Ah betul tak? Itu saya kata kalau you faham konsep dia, misalnya kata dalam test nanti kan, you dah tukis dah oh dia macam ni. So dia sebab ada dua possibility sama ada parabolik silinder ataupun paraboloid. So nak tahu tengok balik yang asal, ada tak variable yang tak ada? So semua ada. Bila semua ada dia jadi paraboloid. Ah kalau dia tak dia ada, tak, tak ada salah satu, dia parallel sepanjang variable yang tak ada tu. Ah okey. So now, hmm, you tengok eh. Okay, kita nak transform eh. Dia berada pada part CY. Y, tengok bucu dia. Bucu dia, the vertex is at 4. So 4 here. Ha, macam tu. So automatically, guys. Tengok eh, dia akan jadi macam gini lah. Macam tu. Okay. So 4, just like this. Kat sini Z ni pun 2. Okay, kenapa dah Z explain? Sini 2. Kat depan dua, belakang ni negatif dua. Bawah ni Z negatif dua. Okay, misal kata tadi, kalau you sketch into D yang ni, YZ plane ni, misal kata, okay, YZ plane, bila YZ plane, X equals to zero kan? So, bila X equals to zero, Y equals to four minus Z squared. Ha, macam tu kan? So, dia akan jadi... Okay, Y dekat sini, Z dekat sini. Ingat eh, dia Y subjek. So, dia menghadap Y. Menghadap Y. Menghadap Y, dia negatif. So, dia sebelah kiri kan sepatutnya. Tapi dia shifting 4. Ha, dia macam ni. 4. Faham tak? Slowly eh, slowly. Okay, slowly. 
Mula-mula tengok Y sebagai subjek. Okey, Y sebagai subjek so bermaksud sama ada ke kiri ataupun ke kanan. Tapi dia negatif. So negatif bermaksud dia ke kiri. Dia sepatutnya macam ni. Okey, tapi dia shifting 4. Tambah 4. So that's why dia kat sini. Understand? Okay. okay, so that's why bila you transform, yang ni pun sama. Walaupun you nampak dia menegak, tapi dia berada pada part CY. Part CY dalam 3D, dia melintang. Okay, dia bucu dia dekat part CY. Y equals to 4. Ha, so yang ni memang automatically boleh nampak teruslah. Dia memang sama bentuk macam 3D. Okay. And then, right here, ni... Dekat atas Z ni, ni dua. Bawah Z ni negatif dua. Macam tu. That's why kita dapat titik ni tadi. Positif tu and negatif tu dekat Z. Understand guys? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Eh? You tengok bucu dia dekat mana? Hingga kalau lukis parabola ni. Parabola ni you tengok bucu dia dekat mana? Kat situ you tanda dulu. Okay, so that's question B. Now question C. Ha, ni. Ha, ini senang sikit. Hmm. Question C. In 2D. Okay, um, let's say apa ni? You all nak plan apa? X, Y ke Z? X, X, Z. Pilih satu. Ni kan X bagi subjek kan? Pasang kalau dia. Sama ada you nak XY ke ataupun XZ. Uh. Ha, nak XY kan? Jom kita buat XY. XY plane. So apa yang zero? Z equals to zero. Okay. Therefore X equals to negative 3Y squared. Ha, that's why saya kata senang tadi tu. Ha, ni X, ni X, ni Y. Ha, so dia atas bawah kiri kanan. Upward, downward, left or right. Ni X sebagai subjek guys. X subjek dia. Left or right? Kiri kanan. Kiri kanan, ha, kiri kanan kan? But now we have negative. Kanan. So negative means left. Like this. Left. Ha, okay, so jom kita plot terus 3D lah. You all dah faham dah ni, dah expert ni. Kita terus plot 3D. So now, X. X, Y and Z. Okay, this is the graph of negative X. Kan? Negative X dekat 3D belah mana? Belakang, right? At the back. Right? So, this parabola, this parabola is facing X negative. So, negative X here is at the back. Negative X at the back. So, it should be facing here, negative. Macam tu. Understand? Yeah. So, just complete it. That's it. That's all. Full mark already. Parabola. Adam kalau lukisannya tak cantik pun dapat markah ke? Dapat, dapat markah. Cantik tak apa, tak cantik tak apa. Yang penting bentuk tu ada and then uh, must be correct lah. Position itu must be correct. Okay? Okay, madam. Thank you. Alright, good. So next. Nah, tadi bentuk paraboloid. Hmm, next we go for sphere. Okay. Oh, sphere ni the equation tau. So. You all dah tengok video kan? You dah belajar ni kan? Dah. Ni bentuk ni. Sekejap saya contohkan sikit. Uh, this shape. This equation. What happen if R equals to zero? Kat tu dah tengok video. R equals to zero, what's the conclusion? Belum. Belum pula. <laughs> Oh, tak faham oh. sangat Tak faham sangat pula Eh, you all, you tiuk tu You <laughs> boleh pause-pause tau, ulang banyak kali Sampai faham 
Equation of a sphere. Tak faham, faham. Okay. Equation of a sphere. Sekejap eh. HKLR. Okay, HKL. X minus H squared plus Y minus, minus K squared plus Z minus L squared equals to R squared. Nah, macam tu. Okay, kalau R greater than zero means this is a circle with radius R lah. Okay, if R is uh, equals to zero means this is just a point. Satu titik je sebab dia tak ada jari. Macam tadi kita buat tadi tu yang awal-awal tadi tu. The first lecture. Single. Ani. Ani. Kan equals to zero ni. Ni R equals to zero means just a point. Okay, dia tak ada jari. So when R equals to zero means just a point of zero zero zero. Just a point. Okay. And then number three, if R less than zero. No conclusion. Yes, no conclusion. No conclusion. Apat logik kan? Macam mana dia dapat less than zero sedangkan dia kuasa dua semua sekali. Takkan, logik, takkan, takkan dia nombor negatif lah. Okay. So for this sphere. Hmm, Alright guys, let us. Kita buat tengok exercise dulu. Nanti boleh saya explain hemisphere, hemisphere buat sebab tu kita tengok exercise. Kita guna kaedah completing the square. Question number. Okay, describe the following uh, ni. Question number five. Find the center and radius of the sphere. Okay, let us do question number five A. Question number 5A. Exercise 1.3. Question number 5A. Dia ada X kuasa 2 tambah Y kuasa 2 tambah Z kuasa 2 tambah 2, 6, minus 4. 2X plus 6y minus 4z plus 10 equals to 0. Macam ni kan? Soalan dia. Sekejap. Plus 10 equals to 0. Okay. So now, uh, jom kita start. Alright. Guys, uh, bila soalan tu, uh, when the question asks you to find the radius and also the center, what you should do is, you need to transform this equation into the general form like this. Uh, general form ni. You kena transform dalam bentuk ni. So how do we transform here? By completing the square. Okay, by completing the square. Completing the square. Okay, now saya bagi tips cara mudah dia guys. Okay, first kali you tengok pasangan dia. Pasangan, okay, the couple. X, the couple is X here. Okay, and then you look at the coefficient. The coefficient here is 2. Semua coefficient ni you kena bahagi 2. Okay, so step by step, let us open the bracket. We put X. Okay, now we have to plus sebab positif 2. So plus 2 divides by 2. 2 bahagi 2 so become 1. So tutup square macam ni. Okay, and then plus open the bracket. You put Y. Okay, tengok pasangan Y mana pasangan Y. Ni Y pasangan Y 6 kan? Yeah. Positive 6 ni, positive 6 ni you divide by 2 again. So 6 divide by 2, you will get plus 3. And then square like that. And then plus, okay now z, variable z. So this is the couple of z here. Okay, be careful because right now we have negative 4. Okay, negative 4 divide by 2. So negative, negative 4 divided by 2 means negative 
itu dia ditolak lah sebab dia negatif ok square ok now guys plus 10 just copy it down plus 10 plus 10 just copy it down and then minus ok minus open the square bracket ok next here 1 square so 1 square is 1 plus now 3 3 square 3 square is 9 ok next negative 2 square so negative 2 square becomes plus 4 so equals to 0 like this ok so we will have equals to x plus 1 square plus y plus 3 square plus z minus 2 square ok 10 minus uh, 14 so negative 4 equals to 0 so we will have x plus 1 square plus y plus 3 square plus z minus 2 square equals to 4 therefore this is a circle a circle with r equals to what? 2 uh, 2 2 ok well done ini eh ni 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 r equals to 2 and then how about the center? center is negative 1, one negative 3 and 2 negative 2 yes positive 2 ok good well done so the center is negative 1 negative 3 and 2 that's it understand guys yes uh, yes okay. well done all right good so next question kita tengok yang ada perkali pula macam ni what to do if you have this type of question question number 7a then the coefficient 2 2 2 2 2 2 macam tu okay jom kita buat jom question number 7a Two x squared plus two y squared plus two z squared plus okay negative three four negative eight. Here go. Negative, positive, negative, 25. Okay. Okay. So now guys, what you should do first here, memandangkan, okay, since you have coefficient 2, 2, 2, 2 ni, you make sure, uh, before you uh, apply my steps here, you need to ensure that the coefficient becomes 1. So what you should do is you have to divide everything by 2. Okay, divide yeah. by 2. Right, so divide by 2 everything so divide by 2 we will have equation kita akan jadi x squared plus y squared plus x squared minus 3 over 2x plus 2y minus 4z plus 25 over 2 equals to 0 like this ok so now uh, baru kita apply step tadi tu ok so open the bracket x ok so Wait, what's the couple of x here negative and negative 3 over 2 yes but we need to divide by 2 right yeah ok so what you should do here negative 3 over 2 divide by 2 becomes negative 3 over 4 squared ok hmm. understand yeah ok now plus Open the bracket untuk Y pula. Okay, Y pasangan Y. Y pasangan Y positif 2. So, positif 2 is just easy. Divide by 2, we will have? Plus 1. Plus 1. Yes, well done. Square. And then now, plus variable Z. So, Z, the couple here, Z equals to negative 4. Okay, so again, negative 4 ni, you bahagi 2. So we will have negative 2 squared. Okay. 
So plus 25 over 2, just copy it down, salin je balik, tolak, open the square bracket. Okay, negative 3 over 4 squared. Uh, kuasa 2, 3 per 4 kuasa 2. So if you square, we will get 9 over 16. Okay, plus 1 squared. So plus 1 squared, of course, lah, we get 1, right? And then plus negative 2 squared. So we have plus 4. Ah, macam tu. You order ni. Cuba kira pakai calculator kalau tak kerti ni. What should you get? Boleh guys? Manja dia sampai jawab aku nak susah kira. Cuba kira. Sabar tu. <laughs> Ini macam saya yang buat soalan ni. Kata ni macam salah ni. Ha, dapat berapa? Positif ke negatif guys? Negatif. Positif. Positif. 111 over 60 betul? Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Equals to 0. Macam tu kan? Okay, but now. Ah, ah, soalan ni dia trick sikit. Plus y plus 1 squared plus 7 minus 2 squared equals to negative 111 over 16. Is it a circle? Circle kan ni guys? Mm, yes. Ah, no conclusion. No conclusion. No conclusion, no conclusion kan? Sebab Betul tak? No conclusion. Ya, yeah, sebab bawah daripada kosong. Yes. Hmm, negatif. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright. 7, 3, 4, negative 8. Plus 5, 25. Okay. So, no conclusion. Yes. Okay, now kita dah habis circle. Okay, saya now I will explain to you. Lah, saya selalu selalu soal dalam sebenarnya ni kan, tak apa lah. Ah, betul. Mm -hmm. Tapi but, but this this solution is correct for my question. <laughs> Understand, guys? Ini saya salah 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 soalan tapi jawapan kita buat ni adalah correct for this question lah. Hmm, okay. okay. Alright. Yeah. So tak apalah you have extra question. Dalam buku soalan lain salah salah ni kan tak apa tak apa it's okay. So you have extra soalan lah. Okay next. Kita dah ada okay sphere. Ah, jom kita buat sphere. Tadi kita belajar equation. Now sketch graph sphere. Sketch the following surfaces. Okay, number one. Mm, so I can combine sphere dengan ellipsoid, right? So let's say you have, mm, let's say you have 3x squared plus 3y squared plus 3z squared equals to 27. Number B, let's say you have uh, x squared plus 4x, 4y squared plus 4z squared equals to 16. And then C equals to, let's say, we have z equals to, um, let's say 81 minus 
X squared minus Y squared. Ha, macam ni. Okay. The difference between this equation and the previous equation, paraboloid adalah, okay, paraboloid tadi, dia ada tiga-tiga variable juga. But in this case, all the variables are power of 2. Okay. Dia ada kuasa 2, kuasa 2, kuasa 2, kuasa 2. Ha, ini pun sama. Sebenarnya C ni ada kuasa 2. Okay. Let us solve one by one. Solution. Okay. Question A. A and do. Okay. Let us, uh, kita nak tahu dia punya radius dia. What you should do is we divide everything by 27. So x squared. Okay x squared over, divide everything by 27, so 9 plus, oh, okay, tak payah buat macam ni. Kita bahagi 3 semua, lagi senang. So, divide everything by 3, we have x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals to 27 divided by 3 is 9. So, yes, this is a sphere with radius equals to 3. Okay, so just simply sketch the graph in 3D. X, Y, Z. So dia jadi sphere lah. Mula-mula you buat tengah. Lepas tu you buat bumbung dia. Lepas tu you buat bu uh, bawah dia. Ha, macam tu. So this is the radius 3. 3 here, 3 here. Sini negative 3. Like that. Okay. That's the sphere. And this one. Uh, yang B ni dia tak sama tau. You tengok eh. Coefficient dia tak sama. Sini 4, 16. Sini 1. So it will be a, it will be an ellipsoid nama dia. Ellipsoid. Okay. Copy. Okay. So if you rearrange this, uh, bila ellipsoid, it's better for you to put this this way lah. Over 16 plus y squared over 4 plus x squared over 4 equals to 1. So what the magic exists of this ellipsoid? Macam tadi, dia perkali dia sama. So that's why they become sphere. But now it becomes ellipsoid. Because the coefficients are different. So what's the magic exists now? X lah kan? Sebab X dia ada 16. The largest one. Okay. So the magic exists. Is X. Okay. So straight away. Sketch the graph in 3D. Dia macam bola rugby tu guys. Okay. Kalau tadi sphere like football. Bola sepak. But now it just like. Um, nah betul lah. Sometimes Americans call rugby as football. Okay, dia panjang terhadap X. So, first you buat, oh Allah. First you buat macam ni dulu. Terhadap X, major exists. And then you baru buat atas bawah dia. Like that. Okay. So, we know already that this is should be, the X exists for, Z exists should be 2. Y exists also 2. Okay. Because square root ni. Ini dia jadi 4. Ini dia jadi 2. Yang ni dia jadi 2 lah. Paksi dia. Okay. So that's it. Next question C. Ha, selalu test keluar macam ni. Question C ni. Normally lah. Biasanya. Usually. Okay, paste. Right. Now, don't panic if you have this type of question. What you should do is, you have to square both sides. Okay. You need to square both sides. So, you will get z squared equals to 81 minus x squared minus y squared. So, what you should do now is, you have to rearrange the variables. So, we have x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals to 81. So, we know that this is a circle. With radius, 
What's the radius? <laughs> eh, you can. Nine. Nine. Yes. Square root of nine. Nine. It's okay. Nice try. As long as you respond, I'm happy. Okay. So, all right. But now, guys, you have to be careful. Why? Because in the original question, we have square root sign. Uh, ingat tak kita belajar masa um, last week? What does it mean by square root sign? Z must be greater or equals to? Positive. Yes, Z must be always positive. So this becomes a hemisphere. Separuh saja. Okay, positive. So separuh saja lah. Hemisphere. So kat tengah-tengah and then dia buat topi dia. Nah, itu je. So the radius is 9. Here is 9. Right here negative 9. Up here 9. Like that. Okay. So that's for the ellipsoid and also sphere. Okay, uh, cones. Uh, so I can explain cones pula. Kenapa dia jadi bentuk cones? Okay. Nombor berapa dah ni eh? Nombor sphere tadi nombor 4 eh. 3, 4, 5, okay, 5 cones. Cones, okay, sketch the following surfaces. All right, let's say number 1, A, mm, Z equals to, let's say we have 4x squared plus 4y squared and then b let's say we have z equals to 1 minus x squared dah tak nak lah saya ubah saya ubah saya ubah ok sini saya nak buat y y equals to 1 minus um, let's say we have 2x squared plus 2z squared Okay, square root of, macam tu. Ah. Hmm, like this. Okay, so solution. Question A ni kan guys? Oh sorry, hmm. this is square. Ah. So tertinggal eh, z square equals to 4x squared plus 4y squared. Kalau tak ada kuasa 2, dia jadi apa tadi? Guys, in case, in case kalau saya padam kuasa 2, dia jadi apa? Jadi double cone. Hmm, no. Dia akan jadi parabola lah. Parabola. Eh. Kan? Oh. Misalnya kata kalau you padam 4y squared tu. Jadi parabola lah kan? So, dalam kes cone, dia kena kuasa 2 kat sini. Okay? Alright, saya explain kenapa eh. Saya will explain to you why. Okay, let's say kita go back to the um, primitive method sebelum ni. Yang kita belajar primitive method. In 2D tu. Okay, kita nak tahu kenapa dia jadi kon sebenarnya benda ni. Alright. Um, in 2D, let's say now you, you all nak pak siapa ni? Exact plane ke YZ plane? Okay, let's say exact plane. What is zero? Wow. Y equals to 0. Therefore, Z squared equals to 4X squared. Okay. Now, kalau you square ni, square square ni, kita nak lukis kan? So, bila we want to sketch this equation, uh, we need to square both uh, square root both sides. So, we will have Z equals to plus minus 2X. Am I right? You square kan ni, punca kuasa dua-dua sides. Dia dapat macam ni kan? So, when you plot the graph into D, this is X exists, this is Y exists. Okay, guys. Now, Z equals to positive 2X. Sorry, this is Z. Z exists. Hmm, Z exists. Dah rasa padang lah santik sikit. Okay, Z equals to 2X. So, kita akan ada satu garisan positif, gradient positif. This is Z equals to... 2x. Right? 
And then lagi satu z equals to negative x. So like this. So z equals to negative 2x. Right? So automatically in 3D, it will become cones. So x, y dengan z, you nampak eh, ini dia menghadap z positif dengan z negatif kan, garisan tu. So you buat macam ni, macam ni, macam ni. Okay dah, so we will have cones. That's it. Understand? Ya, yeah, faham. Okay, good. Yes. Hmm. Now, question B. Ha, B ni plate sikit. Student kadang-kadang dia confuse dengan ni. Dia confuse. Dia kadang-kadang dia buat bentuk apa eh. Uh, student suka tukar jadi paraboloid benda ni. B. Paste. That's why saya ajar student saya guna kaedah 2D tadi tu. So, in 2D, let's say kalau in 2D, kalau you try buat in 2D. Apa ni? In 2D. Okay, sekarang ni you nak pasti apa? Y X. Y X plane. Okay. So, X Y plane ke? X Y X plane sama lah eh. X Y plane. So, apa yang 0? Z equals to 0. So, we will have the equation becomes Y equals to 1 minus square root of 2 X squared like this. Okay. So, therefore, Y equals to 1 plus minus 2x. So kita akan ada satu equation y equals to 1 plus 2x. Lagi satu y equals to 1 minus 2x. Kan? Hmm. So dia jadi macam ni. x, y. Okay. Nah, ingat tak intersect form kita belajar y minus 2x equals to 1. So y over 1 negative x over 1 over 2 equals to 1 kan macam tu kan? Uh, ya. Yeah. Ah, last week baru belajar. So 1 negative 1 over 2. Alright. So this is the line. Yang ni pula y plus 2x equals to 1. So y over 1 plus x over 1 over 2 equals to 1. So, y equals to 1 here, x equals to positive 1 over 2. So, this is the line. Boleh imagine tak cone kita bentuk macam mana dalam 3D sekarang ni? Can you imagine the cone now? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Yes, good. Yeah. So, automatically in 3D, you can sketch the cone happily in 3D. And that's why saya kata try buat 2D dulu. So you get the idea how your graph looks like. So X, Y, Z. Bucu dia mana bucu dia? Bucu dia. Bucu dia dekat positif 1 kan? Ni. Uh, yeah. Ah, Bucu dia. The vertex. So of course it will be like this. Straight away. Just like that. Okay, kalau tadi 1 per 2, yang ni jadi 1 per 2 jugalah. 1 per 2 dekat X pun 1 per 2 kan. Eh? At the back, negative 1 over 2. Of course, dekat bawah ni negative 1 over 2 lah. Just like that. Understand guys? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, right. So, I think that's all for today. Hmm. For those Enjoy. yang belum lagi record attendance, tolong record attendance eh. Sekejap saya copy balik link. Apa? Ni. App chat. Okay. Dekat chatting tu bagian chat tu saya ada space uh, the uh, link for you to record your attendance today. Alright. So, uh, we finish already soft topic 1.3. Alright. Um, I think next week you will have your quiz one if I'm not mistaken. I will announce it again later in the group. Okay, so saya akan inform balik lah dalam group. So that's all for today guys. Thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to do all the exercises given. If you have any questions, you can WhatsApp me personally. Okay, so thank you very much for the Muslim we finish with us. Be kafara and surawal us.
Oke, okay, thank you.